Contaminated seed is the likely source for most reported sprout-associated outbreaks. Knowing as much as possible about where and how the seed was produced and handled can increase the chances of starting with clean seed. In this module, we will help you be aware of the questions that need to be asked of seed growers, conditioners, and or suppliers. It may also help in understanding some of the constraints growers face in producing seed for sprouting. A multitude of field and vegetable crop seeds are sprouted for human consumption, such as alfalfa, clover, onion, radish, broccoli, lentils, and mung beans. Seed for sprouting is produced throughout the world, but the major suppliers are in the U.S., Canada, and Australia. Crop production practices vary with the type of crop in the area where it's grown. In this review, we will use alfalfa seed as an example, but many of the factors discussed, such as potential sources of contamination and good agricultural and manufacturing practices to minimize contamination, will apply to any type of seed. Approximately 80 million pounds of alfalfa seed are produced each year in the United States. The primary market for that seed is planting stock to produce forages to support livestock. Only a small fraction of the seed produced is used for sprouting. If the seed growers are unaware that the seed is to be used for human consumption, they may unknowingly use agricultural practices that create a potential health risk. Potential sources of contamination are present in the field and in the harvest equipment, as well as at the conditioning, seed supplying, and or sprouting facility. Although the precise method of contamination of seeds is not known, some possible sources of contamination include agricultural water, animal waste or manure, poor sanitation of equipment, or poor personal hygiene. Contamination of seed may be sporadic and at low levels, but once pathogens are present, they are likely to survive for extended periods of time under normal seed storage conditions. Therefore, it's important to reduce the risk of contamination as much as possible at each step in the production, conditioning, and distribution process. FDA's Guide to Minimize Microbial Hazards for Fresh Fruits and Vegetables addresses common sources of contamination in an agricultural environment and ways to minimize them. A summary of that guide is included with this video. Seed distributors and sprouters buying seed directly from growers should ask questions to ensure GAPs were followed before purchasing seed for sprouting. Buyers may utilize contracts with growers or conditioners that specify good agricultural and manufacturing practices to reduce the possibility of contamination. For alfalfa seed and other perennial crops, the season begins when the forage that has grown during the winter or early spring is removed in an operation called clipback. If there's enough forage or plant material present and previous chemical use doesn't restrict it, this clipping can actually be a hay harvest. In some areas, sheep are brought into the seed fields to remove this winter growth. However, manure from sheep and other animals can be a source of human pathogens. If the seed from the field is destined for the sprout market, sheep should not be allowed to graze. If sheep have grazed the field, the seed should not be used for sprouting. Growers may use commercial fertilizers and or manure to maintain the fertility of the soil for maximum crop production. The application of manure should be avoided during the production of a seed crop for sprouting. If manure is used, growers should follow good agricultural practices, such as composting and maximizing the time between application and harvest to minimize microbial hazards. The use of untreated manure or raw manure should be avoided. Drift or runoff from adjacent fields where manure is used, from nearby manure storage or treatment sites, or animal production areas may also be a source of contamination. All crops require water. In some areas, water supplied through rainfall is supplemented by irrigation. Growers use a diverse variety of water sources, including canal water and well water to irrigate their crop. It's applied to the surface of the soil by flood, furrow, or sprinkler irrigation systems. If the seed is to be used for sprouting, growers should evaluate the quality of their water source and follow appropriate good agricultural practices, such as runoff control and animal exclusion to ensure and maintain water quality. In the field, the seed is protected from contamination by the seed pod, but once harvest begins, the seed is exposed to a substantial amount of dirt and debris. Mechanical damage is also an important issue. Any damage to the seed coat caused by harvest equipment could aggravate contamination by making removal of pathogens during subsequent steps more difficult. 
In many areas, when seed is grown for commercial planting stock, it's desiccated using chemicals that dry the standing crop in preparation for harvest. However, if seed is to be used for sprouting, chemical drying agents should not be used. Rather, the crop should be cut at the base of the plant and laid in long rows to air dry. A standard combine is used to pick up the crop in the windrow and thresh the seed from the pod. The equipment should be carefully adjusted to separate the very small seed from a large amount of plant material without damaging it. The equipment should also be adjusted to minimize soil uptake during harvest. 